Plump Goops podcast. Get a load of these hot takes at high stakes. Get a load of these hot takes at high stakes. Get a load of these hot takes at high stakes. Get a load of these hot takes at high stakes. Howdy folks, Cam here. I um didn't really have time to edit a Hot Takes High Stakes episode this week, so I decided, you know what, we're 25% of the way through 2021, I might as well put together our best moments from the podcast of 2021 so far. So I hope you enjoy and we'll have a regular episode out next Wednesday. Okay, new hot take. We should vote by raising our hands. Like, we all gather in the public <laughs> area. No, we should like, all in favor. Donald and you raise your hand. President. And they, they get a rough count. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I think Biden won short. No, no, like, Josh. We have a series of pressure plates that you step on. And if enough of one section that people are standing in, standing in uh, are standing on those pressure plates, then it lights up. And then those votes count. But they don't if you didn't step on enough. <laughs> oh, interesting theory. See, so I we make think... this via a redstone contraption. See, I think we should switch it to um, we do. We everyone just gets in a large gaggle. Everyone in the U.S. that is, and then we just say everyone who votes for this person say I. And if enough people say I, then they become president. And how many is enough? Ooh, what about you know? They do like, like we go, everyone on enough. the left make some noise. <laughs> everyone on the right make some noise and whoever's louder wins. I think we so, should, should do so that. Trump would lose because they're the silent majority. Like, <laughs> like they're the majority, but they're too quiet. What if all the candidates just get a different groundhog and the first groundhog to see a shadow? If you're the <laughs> owner of said groundhog, you get to be president for three more months or whatever <laughs> three more months i don't remember like i don't know how punk satani what if our works. presidential turnover rate was like three months <laughs> just every three months there's a new president i think the only thing you should need to run for president is in fact a groundhog i think <laughs> we should go qualified. there should be like four years alternating at a time where we just don't have a president wait i actually think there should be an age limit to being president yeah i feel like you shouldn't be president if you're over takes not cold takes well like what if like age of retirement like 59 and a half once you're over 59 and a half you can't you can't be president that's the age of retirement well i don't know that's when you if you get like a roth ira you can take the money out once you're 59 and a half because that's retirement i think that people who retire since they're not working and don't have a wage they should be paid for by the government via taxing younger people. Oh, like trickle down again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what, what this means. Let's okay, Rez. Let's go one for one different types of ways that you can eat an egg and a baked potato. Okay, raw for sure. Like okay. Raw like that's a point for egg. That's a point for egg. And then I'll say um like French fries. Uh hard boiled. Um baked potato. Uh What's it called? All right, looking called? bad. Sunny, looking sunny bad side up. Sunny side up. <laughs> sunny um, side up. I'll go with uh, I'll go with mashed potatoes. I'm gonna go with scrambled eggs. Basically mashed potatoes. Yeah, I'm gonna go with potato skins. I'm gonna go with eggshell. <laughs> <laughs> eggshell. <laughs> I'm just thinking of the equivalent here. You can uh, eat eggshell for sure. There's yeah, some but calcium. no one who There's do, calcium no, and eggshell. That's but that's not a dish. Also, raw egg in a cup is not a dish. It's not something that people do very often. <laughs> you like, you could blend a potato and drink it, but more often than potato, I think that's. But true. potato soup, potato soup. Actually, just the other day, I was making ramen. I added a mm-hmm. raw egg to the ramen, and it was actually really good. Like it cooked a little bit, but not to the point where it was actually cooked. But just to yeah. the point where it was like, you know, still runny. Well, how do you know? You just had COVID. You could barely taste it. <laughs> well, it was soup. I need it. I need soup. The potatoes are just an element of the soup, the same way that a hard-boiled egg would be an element of ramen. But the potato is most of the – like, that's the flavor. That's the name of the soup. There's no egg soup. Wait, potato soup? Yeah, potato soup. Yeah. Like a I'll, potato give, I'll give that to potato. Yeah. Give Gotta to give potato? that to potato. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, so, I could still go, Rez. I can, I can, I can, I can still go. Going. Over okay. medium, over medium. Hash browns. Over easy. Home fries. Well done. <laughs> You're just naming different, <laughs> like different stages of are we how considering, well cooked they are. Are we considering when it's an ingredient 
or does it have to be its own dish? No, that's it's the main because thing. otherwise it would be eggs by a landslide. Yeah, eggs can be put in anything. I guess I guess that's, but that's what my an take ingredient. Is. But then butter, is. then butter is the most versatile food. Well, salt, salt, salt. <laughs> yeah, garlic. A garlic arguments can be made for garlic. A number one. Yeah, but garlic is garlic's more of a, a garlic a is seasoning. a number one. Garlic has garlic ruled out like all of all of desserts. Like uh, flour goes in more things than garlic. All-purpose flour. Are you that's not number one either. Is, wait, so is is your take evolving into just the most popular <laughs> ingredient? No, 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 no. Most versatile food and is egg. Is egg is egg for sure. Well, I think I just one for one you out of the out, egg of, out of town. Egg whites. <laughs> you said you I'm said still easy. going. You, I'm you still said going. over easy. You said over medium, and you said over hard. What I think those milk? should all count as one. Let's not what forget chips. What about milk? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> just milk. Um, just chips. <laughs> just milk. What? What do you mean chips? The Our oh, potato, potato chips. Food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Oh, potato chips. That's true. true. Well, I, I count that as like fries. Fine, isn't it? Oh, Basically, fries. no, not even close. <laughs> not even close. Oh, um, if, if, if you ordered fries at a restaurant and they brought you chips, you'd be like, "Where? What am I in? Soviet England?" You'd be very confused. Is the point? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you'd be out of your mind. I guess. I guess my my take makes more sense if I did uh, as an ingredient. It is more. <laughs> yeah, versatile. but then it, then it wouldn't be hot. So I, then I'm it wouldn't be hot. What, so I'm yeah, liking yeah. what you brought to the table here. I think all sleeveless hoodies should be banned. <laughs> Why? Why? In what world would you ever need a hoodie without it covering your arm? I think if you're coaching the New England Patriots, you would need one. This is it, but he wears he wears stuff under it. Yeah, he wears stuff under it to keep it warm. <laughs> I think well, that brings a... me another point. Yeah, yeah. No, they should have sleeves. His yeah, his... that's the point of them. That's the Sleeve functional purpose. But I think it. I think it's awesome because I don't. <laughs> well, it's it just gives you an option. It's more options. Like it's basically just a shirt now with a hood. So, like, yeah. if you don't want sleeves or if it's warm outside but you want a hood. Why do you want a hood? Because hoods are cool. Uh, oh. <laughs> that was a struggle. That was, that was tough. Thoughts? <laughs> that was tough. I, no, I, I think if you are cold enough to need a hood, then – Hoods aren't always a cold weather thing, though. Maybe you're having a bad hair day. To wear a hat. Yeah, I just wear a hat. What if you're not a hat guy? What if you don't look good in hats? Would you look good I mean, in hoodies? Anybody looks much better in hoodies. <laughs> probably. There are probably hood guys that aren't hat guys. Okay, where would you wear just a hood if you're having a bad hair day? Like if I was going to class, I wouldn't sit there in a hoodie. Some would. D- deny that you've seen some people wear hoods indoors. I'm not denying that. I'm saying that when they wear hoods, they typically are just normal sweatshirts. Yeah, but they don't have to be. That's the beauty of the sleeveless hoodie. Okay, but <laughs> you know they shouldn't what? sell hoodies that are Keep talking. Sleeveless. Keep talking. I'll be back. Tanner, would you be willing to extend this to short sleeve hoodies? I didn't even know those existed, but yes. Because I my sweet mate freshman year, one of my sweet mates uh-huh. freshman year, had this short sleeve hoodie. Right. And it was like oatmeal color. It's not really great, you know, for yeah. anything. And he would, like, once it was raining, uh-huh. and he would wear his swimsuit when it rained to class because he thought that that was, like, better. And he, it was, like, you know, like, 60 or something. So Is he, he just, dense? Oh, uh, okay, uh, wait, I can totally see. <laughs> okay, wait, what do you have that's... to say about this, Tanner Joseph did you, Dotson? Did you have Tan that on JD? standby, or did you literally just – no, okay. For, you, I assume you didn't just cut the sleeves off, but I'm saying that <laughs> they shouldn't sell hoodies without without sleeves. Like you cut those off, that's fine. Not them. There I guess. no sleeves. Well, are you saying even it short sleeve like, hoodies are bad? That's cap, Cameron. That's ca- yeah, even yes. short sleeve hoodies. I was well, just this was, this was a short that. sleeve hoodie that I cut the short sleeves off of. Oh, okay. Th- well, that's better. That's, I mean, SMD. I guess it's. I was just on a story about short sleeve hoodies on NBC. Yeah, I you'll guess to, if you if you love hoodies, watch that... it back, Cameron. I'll watch it back. I'll I'll edit this. So okay, I'll but have... let me let me ask you right now: Are you warm or are you cold? Because I can't tell. I was really hot <laughs> because I was wearing three layers, and now it's kind of nice. 
Okay, see, the issue with that outfit, with that yeah. top, is that it it only works. I mean, you can't go outside right now with that. I can guarantee you that. You can't but go I, outside. I could on July safely. 4th, and I did. That's yeah, but, your neck but the, like, is one of part one of the parts of your body that releases heat the most, right? Yeah. So yeah. why would you cover it with a hood on the fourth of July? Because I'm not a hot head. Because he can. Because he can. Because I'm not a hot head, Tanner. So you don't get hot. No, Man's not hot. Get hot. Man's not. So if hot. you don't get hot, then wear sleeves. Boom boom. <laughs> boom boom there should either uh, be a short sleeve but look or a no sleeve shirt or i don't think hood, you got the facilities for sleeve. that big man it's also cropped <laughs> that's a general veto from me that's okay. you know, i'm not i'm not gonna bring up crop tops because you don't you like the, the cropped hoodie? sleeveless Cameron, can hoodie? you crop the hoodie just like just around <laughs> yeah. the top and have it just hang, hanging on by a thread, like, like a the headphone. Kevin Garnett hoodie. The headphone. <laughs> Ooh. Right, what, Cameron? What if they just sold hoodies? Like you know, like ski mask. Like oh, it I know goes ski mask. Here, right? It just kind of put on. It goes under here. Oh yeah. Would you wear a hood like that? Wear a t-shirt and then a hood under your t-shirt that goes down to here, and then flip it up. That'd that be kind of legit. Thing? That'd be kind of. You would wear that. <laughs> you. I actually. Um. So the look I was I was doing earlier was like, uh, like a sweater with the hoodie underneath. I th- yeah, like I some people like that look, and yeah. that would be good if it's you want to go for that look, but you don't want to wear three layers. You can put the hoodie on underneath that sweater, and then you're not burning. So loud. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's a good idea. You just gave me a great <laughs> idea. Oh my god! I mean, I guess if you don't have a sweatshirt. And you're just that concerned about the sweater over hood look. Mm-hmm. Then Wait, so what was that's your original the take? Ban sleeveless hoodies and short sleeve hoodies. No, you, yeah. no yeah. stores yeah. allowed to sell them. Yeah. No so you're yeah. saying I'm not valid. No, I'm, I'm saying you so should. Saying I'm, I'm not saying valid. You should, yeah, you're not valid. <laughs> yeah. I'm willing to die on that. This, okay, this stems from like, I'd like walk into like, a gym and there'd be people in like doing normal workouts whatever I, are they cold they have a hoodie on with like i think they think in and short, that it's, it's going to make up. them sweat i think <laughs> they think it's going to make them but sweat but like don't... they don't want to wear long <laughs> sleeves because they, they don't want to they want to sweat but okay i think they you know, want the sleeveless look at the gym but want to think like want to try and break a sweat uh, i mean it, that could be like the one reason where it's okay because maybe you don't want your neck to release the heat right maybe maybe you don't like working out in long sleeves but it, it's leg day and you just got to rest that bar on something well it's also mobility <laughs> do sleeves Ow. reduce your oh. mo- are you- that was really loud david also maybe you don't want pit stains well that's a, that's a reason to not wear <sighs> a, a, that's a reason to wear sleeveless shirts not a sleeveless hoodie i think david's yeah. paralyzed now it sounds like his neck just broke that was really painful and releasing Okay, let me let me ask you this. Do you think people wear sleeveless hoodies for Ask the me look? anything, AMA. Or for, I'm asking you right now. You just cut me off, actually. Do you think people wear sleeveless Consider this ho- an AMA. <laughs> I read it AMA. He was, Sorry, am I, are you... Third time oh, the charm? Oh, is it my turn? Is it my turn? Okay. Third time's yeah. the charm. You can see how it goes. So do you think people wear hoodies without sleeves for the looks or the, the purpose? more the looks what's the no. purpose there's no purpose <laughs> that's but what i'm saying there's but no you're, purpose. It's so just, then stand up stand up there is no purpose that that says uss midway cv 41 in fact it would probably be cheaper and uh it wouldn't be as hard to manufacture if it didn't say anything on it at all also what what uh, material is that is that cotton is that yes. nylon it's cotton 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, if you wanted to go for purpose, then there are probably more comfortable shirts to be wearing than cotton, Tanner. So if you're saying that the only purpose of clothes is for, is for, is for, is for to be the most purposeful, I guess you could say, is to, is to, is to be mo the most functional. If the only purpose of clothing is to be functional, then I guess you got me there. But actually, you're wearing clothes for style right now. So look at David. David looks great. I think you're missing the point. What's the purpose of collars? <laughs> Ban collared shirts. There's no purpose. I'm, I'm not saying people basically aren't what allowed to. No, I'm saying that sleeveless hoodies don't look good. <laughs> well. And they don't have a purpose. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm disproving that right now. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at that. All-American gal. Can I be like Frank? Frank? Can I be yeah. Frank? Yeah. I am Frank. Now that's the worst article of clothing I've ever seen <laughs> any of my friends ever wear. It's disgusting. I'm not gonna do a haiku this time. No, what you ditched you ditched your 2021 <laughs> take strategy so quick. I'll do it every other episode. This one I just didn't have time to come up with one. But it's really simple. We should delete Google. <laughs> okay, why? <laughs> because if the if with all we have all the knowledge at with our fingers. With all due respect. <laughs> with all due respect to fucking Google, um, it's making us dumber. Google's making us dumber. Yeah. Think about it. It, it, it used to be if you didn't know something, you just would not know until. It just happened like someone told you or mm. you like ran into it or you saw it on the street. And once that happened, there was no chance you were ever going to forget that because it was like such right. a pivotal part of like your life or whatever. Yeah. The gaining of knowledge. Yeah. But now if I'm like, who was the actor in this movie? I just look it up and then I know and then I forget. Immediately. You think you'll forget? Yeah, absolutely. You think you, think you forget how long until... Do you remember the answer to all the things that you've Google searched? No, not all the things, but if it's like, I, I don't remember everything I've Google searched. Like if, if you were to tell me, if you were to ask me like, uh, is Latin music singer Natty Natasha pregnant, which Excuse I Googled me? recently, I would say yes. Like, I feel yeah. like I would remember if you asked me specifically what I Googled and what the answer was, I would say, yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't think so. Like the capitals of cities and like, song names or whatever i feel like i could forget that unless you just like heard it and then like you heard it on the radio one day and you're just like or like in mm -hmm. a store or something you just ask someone what that song was or ask your friend and they're like oh it's this you won't forget it but even if you're forgetting things don't you feel like you're like yeah if you didn't know something you would have to wait until this pivotal moment in your life where you would figure it out but how many things went un undiscovered, you know? The and that makes of... you smarter. Like, I get that the knowledge is more valuable, but does it make <laughs> you smarter to know less things, but then have more significant impact to you? It makes you value the things that you do know more. So you that put makes more... you smarter? <laughs> yeah. That's... It gives you perspective. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Perspective as to, like, Wow, I I don't know as many things as I thought I did. Yeah, no, more or less like wow, the the world's a beautiful place. <laughs> the world's a beautiful place. <laughs> yeah, because like think about it, you have to go out, you have to seek answers, you have to go out into the world. You know, who knows where you're gonna find the answer of like what's that song that was sung by Lady Gaga? That one, you know the artist, but you don't know the name of the song. Maybe you're in fucking. Peru, maybe you're in Europe. Yeah. And you just hear you have to like go out of your you gotta hang up, you know. You gotta hang up. You gotta get off your phone and right. and go out there. So like I'm thinking of a situation in which I'm eating birthday dinner with my very old, let's just say grandfather. No. He's very old and feeble at this stage in his life. You're selling him short. <laughs> Am I selling my grandfather yeah. short? Um <laughs> Let's just say he is uh, not the man he used to be in terms of physical prowess. 
and um, we're eating dinner, a steak dinner. And he he's always been one to take big bites, my grandfather. Yeah. And that's something that his late wife would always say. You got to you, you got to take smaller bites. You got to take small, my he's actually married to Jerry <laughs> Seinfeld. <laughs> to you got to take smaller bites. Well, what's the deal with these large bites? Yeah. And then um, she actually passed away um, oh, from from uh, choking, actually. Oh, she did. Yeah. Oh my and then, God. Uh, so I was like, God damn, because I was there. I was eating a birthday dinner with her at the time. And um, me and my grandfather were both there. We were like, damn, we don't know. C- we don't know the Heimlich, but she she died. And we're like, oh, is this well. a real story or? And we're like, uh, no, this is like without Google. Like Google has been deleted. This is a hypothetical situation. Oh, okay. um, and then we're like, ah, oh, like we don't know the Heimlich. Um, but hopefully someday uh, something comes up and um, someone will come up to us on the street and be like, here's how you do the Heimlich or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but that hasn't happened yet. And so every, every uh, birthday <laughs> um, dinner that I have with my grandfather, I'm like, I hope today's not the day that I needed that information. You know what I mean? But today is that Jeez. day. And he chokes on his large bite of steak. And I'm like, well, you know, destiny just didn't, <laughs> just didn't <laughs> arrive for me. I never learned the Heimlich out of some stroke of luck. You know what I mean? This is a very long-winded story. But both times I could have looked on my phone as the choking was happening. I could have been like on my phone and then found out how to do the Heimlich and saved both of my grandparents. Yeah, yes. I, I, I think um, that uh, schools are also too easy of a way of learning things. And so if we wanted to learn things, if we wanted to really value them and have the thought, the world is a beautiful place. Yeah. We wouldn't have access to textbooks with so readily yeah. available knowledge. Yeah, uh, Ronick, how many times in school did you ever think the world is a beautiful place? <laughs> I don't think it happened enough. Here, uh, <laughs> Tanner, let's be the Tanner. Let's be the um, <laughs> the the, uh, the you know the sunscreen cover. The, yeah, yeah. The, Where I'll, be the, I'll be the girl my... and you be the dog biting my uh, towel. Okay? <laughs> Here's the towel. Wait. <laughs> you have to go. You have to go all the way to the edge. You have to go all the way to the edge. Go back up, back up a little. Back up a little. Back up. Back up. Yeah, that's it. Right. Yep. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> that's my hot take nice takes everyone um subscribe to mountain men vids on youtube subscribe to mountain men games on youtube subscribe to this podcast on apple podcast rate and review um this comes out uh on a, a sam week sam will you make your scrambled eggs video or perhaps uh, poop in the box parody we'll see okay. it'll be like a hit in the thumbnail and then you just have to click it to find out box. what do you mean a hidden thumbnail what does that mean like 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 a neutral thumbnail like you don't know what it's gonna be and then you click uh, it oh either i make scrambled eggs or i shit in a box <laughs> <laughs> should the title of the video be should the title of the video be in this video sam either makes scrambled eggs or shits in a box <laughs> click to right. find can that be, can, sam can that be your series is it's either one thing. All the do. titles is wait. Sam makes scrambled means... eggs or shits in a box, <laughs> and every episode is just like Sam builds a computer or shits in a box, <laughs> yeah. and like every other episode, it's just it's, it's just shitting shit in a box. <laughs> I yeah. think that's one of our best video ideas. <laughs> that's yet. a really good video. <laughs> <idea>. <laughs> There's a chance. There's a chance it's just him making scrambled eggs. <laughs> to see if he shits in a box, you know. <laughs> so you have to do it. <laughs> That's such a good series. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's
it's either some like <laughs> you're there cooking the food. It's like Sam. <laughs> it's like Sam either cooks a wagyu ribeye or shits a box. <laughs> And so all the hard things that you don't want to do, all you have to do is just... <laughs> I just have to <laughs> casually just shit in a box. <laughs> it's, you, it's you in the box, but it's only you neck up. <laughs> you can just tell that you're shitting. <laughs> yeah, you don't even have to... <laughs> you don't have to show the shit. Just like, no, yeah, just sit in a box. Shitting. Just... <laughs> <laughs> that's a set that you'll have to keep up in your room now as a human sized box that you can shit in every other week no, it, can, it can just be the same clip of it <laughs> it's like the laziest video series ever yeah so any video any week that you don't want to make a video or that you don't have time we just post that clip of you shitting in a box <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Can one episode be Sam cleans his shit box or Sam shits in a box? <laughs> <laughs> it's just you shitting. <laughs> you never clean the shit box. It's just always you shitting in the box. Like every other year, you post a video. And it's like, is he going to clean the shit box this time? But he doesn't. He just shits in it instead. The thumbnail is like a Windex bottle and like a bag. <laughs> and then it's just a little ore. And then it's a piece of shit in the box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Set, you were given a gift from God. <laughs> yeah, this actually could go viral. It's like, <laughs> it's like people would click this to see if, yeah. he, if he makes food or shits in a box. I mean, <laughs> that's so excellent. Sam, and all you have to do is film yourself one time pretending to shit in a box. That's yeah, you did. <laughs> I actually did have a life size, human size box earlier. What happened to it? Uh, I think we tossed it. No, you we'll have see. to find it. You have to find it. It's probably not that hard to find a human sized box. No. Plump Goops Podcast.